Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Here they want to know what the value of x is in the equation below. We have 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 3rd equals 2 to some power. So when I see this, you know, I'm thinking, do I multiply my exponents? What do I do? And to really clarify that and think about it, all I do is expand what I'm given. So 2 to the 4th is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. I'm putting that in parentheses because the order of operation tells us that this exponent grouping comes first, times 2 to the 3rd, which is just 3 2's being multiplied, Oops. right, 2 times 2 times 2, and that equals 2 to some power x. But now the property, the associated property multiplication says that I can group these all these 2's together without changing the final product, right? We can just group them all in one big group. And then what emerges is that we have all these twos lined up in a row. We have three, six, seven, right? And that is still the same thing, so it's two to the seventh. And that must equal two to the x, right? That's how the equation is set up. So here we can see that x must equal seven. Another way of thinking about this, because the bases are the same, what we can recognize, right, two and two are the same bases, here if x is seven, that's the sum of these two exponents. And what we can always do is add our exponents when the bases are the same and we're multiplying. And that gets us the new exponent in the product. All right, hope this helped.